So let me also um, hand, hand this over to Philip, who would like to say a couple of things about the summer school that's especially dedicated to the family. Is that right? Yeah, my name is Philip. I'm working at the Frankfurt School. Uh, we are holding this uh, summer camp. Actually, we, are, we were not allowed to call it summer school uh, because there is another summer school which uh, has basically name rights at the Frankfurt School. It's therefore, I call it summer camp, but fair enough, uh, it's the same content. And the idea is to connect the Ethereum blockchain to IoT products. And, and luckily, you know, that's, that's fun because um, we, we had Daimler uh, supporting us. And I was really happy when I saw last uh, week um, that Daimler uh, uh, had created this one million uh, Schulschein Darlehen uh, based on blockchain together with the Landesbank Bad Wittenberg, which is amazing, you know, that two organizations like that uh, are, are so active. And um, actually, I myself uh, from Stuttgart, and that's the way they, they are doing business there. They are not talking, but they are just doing it. And uh, that's really fun to watch that other banks in Germany and Europe, they are talking a lot and they are just creating um, a bond with 100 million, That's, that was really impressive and therefore it's fun to have Daimler on board here. And last week I also um, um, got Jota uh, convinced, maybe you noticed, that's basically one of the, uh, let's call it a celebrity uh, cryptocurrencies with Dominicina and others um, who want to do M2M payments, they are valued at 1 billion um, currently, which is probably a little bit too much. Um, given uh, the prototype which is there, but from a potential perspective, it's amazing what uh, they are doing and um, therefore I think we have a good program there. We have so far 30 IT uh, people who have applied for it and we have also had 30 business developers applied for it and therefore we need a little bit more IT people um, so such that we are able to form say 10 or 12 um, teams to build prototypes. Um, last comment concerning what uh, Roman said. Some of you might uh, trade with uh, cryptocurrencies and so on. Uh, be, be a little bit careful. Always when you do a trade, it's actually a tax event um, and uh, depending on the volume invested, um, people should be a little bit careful. Uh, actually, there are so many lawyers out there concerning blockchain which are positioning themselves, but I haven't found a tax advisor um, yet who is interested in blockchain because I will also clarify this uh, for uh, from myself and other people, but uh, um, I think it's it's time, uh, given the, the skyrocketing price, I think it's time to um, uh, be cautious uh, because there is this 12 months um, time limit um, and only it's tax free after this 12 months. And actually, this skyrocketing price has happened a little bit too too fast for this Question 12 months limit. Sure months? Yeah, yeah, I'm rather sure. Yeah, I'm rather sure. It's, it has been proven multiply. There are letters by financial, by finance entern in, in, the, in the web and you can, probably it can be revised at some point of time, but at this point of time it's, it's rather uh, sure. Yeah, that's it and I think now we hand over to Oliver. One, um, two, two more comments please. please say okay. So, um, basically this is the power of community because I happen to know a tax advisor who wants to deal with that. And um, he's very smart, so maybe I can connect you. Yeah. And um, um, this is really how I would like to have this working. So it's not us here running the show, it's you guys connecting. And um, if there's something that is eventful, please come up to the stage and present yourselves. Um, then I have one question. What is an M2M payment? Uh, machine to machine payment. Uh, that's, that's basically it. Yeah, that's the future uh, when machines are, that's, that, that should or that ought to be the future when machines start uh, paying each other. That's uh, especially for realm of autonomous cars, uh, drones, and also sensors delivering data and basically selling their data um, for money. Yeah, and therefore you need to have an infrastructure which is able to do payments on a cent basis or on a micro cent basis because the current uh, infrastructure is not uh, capable of doing this. I have done some community work before, like I mentioned with Nick by Mind, and I learned one important thing. There's always a call to action at the end. So if you talk about your summer camp, tell them how to apply and what to expect. Uh, yeah, right. Actually, the URL is missing. So in case you are interested in this program, I think we have a good program. We have nice uh, speakers. We teach people on how to develop um, both the hardware and uh, Ethereum. 
uh, such that at the end of this week there will be 10 to 12 uh, teams uh, showcasing their prototypes, but really touchable prototypes and not just PowerPoint. It's, I think that's very, very important. And if you're interested in this, you're welcome uh, to apply or to also tell others. We have, um, I think we have uh, even applicants from uh, across Europe, which is really amazing, coming here. And of course, people from, from Europe, but so far I'm quite lucky um, that, we, that we were able to attract uh, people with this kind of concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, the, the, well, ideally, I would uh, I would like to have together with my co-organizers um, three IT people and one business developer. Um, maybe maybe it might be two plus two or two uh, three plus two, depending on on also the quality of people who are applying. Because I would rather have a smaller group um, who have already programming experiences. Um, instead of starting from scratch on Monday, because then we don't end, you know, it's, a, it's some kind of hackathon, um, but with a reduced PR um, stuff, uh, more like focusing on the, on the content. And Daimler, for example, um, they are not doing this for PR reasons, they are really interested in uh, what uh, they are, uh, what kind of ideas uh, can um, come out of this uh, topic. Yeah. Um, yeah, any more? Oh, yeah. yeah uh, when is the ICO and uh, can I spend the USC20 tokens? <laughs> Yeah, but actually, you know, uh, the, um, I, I would have done it if it would be legal in Germany. And uh, but setting up the structure costs. Uh, um, what would you guess? Setting up the legal structure for an ICO together with Switzerland and Liechtenstein. What does it cost? Fifty thousand, fifty thousand, sixty thousand. I now found a company who is doing it for twenty thousand. So that's uh, uh, there are some scale effects uh, coming up, but it's uh, it's not easy to do it because as in Germany. You are, uh, you, are, you are allowed to create all kinds of cryptocurrencies, but you are not allowed to sell them. Yeah, that puts you with one step uh, in the prison, and therefore you need to build a legal structure around it, and this costs money. Yeah. And therefore, if this wouldn't be, then I would be the first one doing this ICO, but uh, you shouldn't. Uh, when I did my internship, uh, my boss told me three things. Uh, you shouldn't cheat your wife, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't uh, cheat the uh, Finanzamt, and you shouldn't cheat your employer. Yeah, that were his uh, goals, and I think there is some truth in it because, uh, yeah, for whatever reason. Can, can I have uh, the, um, the other quick slide? This is something we, um, we do it from a university perspective. I think that's interesting. Um, we would, there is an, uh, a company out there who would like to monitor um, electricity infrastructure in Africa. And uh, together with them, we de developed a smart meter, which has been deployed in Malawi now, and uh, it now created the first, uh, the first measurement of the kilowatt hours um, of this structure um, last Sunday. I think that's interesting because now, whatever electricity is consumed there is monitored in the blockchain, and monitoring is the first step, and then and the next step would be also charging for electricity and paying the local maintenance. Uh, company, so I think that's really a fascinating project. What you can do um, with uh, blockchain technology, but because as we know, this device there sends the uh, kilowatt hours as they are um, to the blockchain, and then there is no possibility to do any fraud anymore, as long as you have uh, safeguarded the entry into the uh, into the uh, into the Ethereum blockchain. But this is it's only a prototype. But I'm quite lucky that it's now uh, sending its data and. Uh, Hopefully we get some more. Um, yeah, hopefully this is a basis for interesting business models. Let's see. Okay, but now I think it's Oliver taking over. <laughs>